Okay, quick update on the Hobby King um, P40N canopy plan. When I say plan, I mean very skeptical, but right now that's the plan. Okay, so the rail is um, in in its test, meaning not glued in. The rear canopy has been cut so that the rear will extend a little bit out, which allows the other canopy to slide back, not binding. Okay, so here's the challenge. I believe that the linear servo is probably going to have to go in that cavity there. Then I will burrow a channel there. There'll be a U-shaped wire that will come out of here and on the opposite side. So as the linear servo pulls back underneath this, it'll pull across tube, which will pull two wires. Those wires obviously are attached to the canopy ball links, and it should pull the canopy straight back. Same thing when the, when the linear server moves in its other direction. It'll push the tube that will ride along in there, thin wire that will come out both of the sides here, it's here and on the other side and it'll push the canopy into a lock position. Uh, just like on my larger LXP40 I think I have no choice but to put the linear server under here remove this the body of the servo will come out here I'll build it up a little bit with foam just to support it the rear channel of the fuse right here looks like should be able to be carved out that'll allow the body of the linear server to move in I'll add magnets up here, so these will be moved from here to up here. And that should possibly solve the challenge of hiding a servo in the N model. So, <clears throat> by the way, I grinded these out this evening. The plastic guide rails used to use brass on the heavier planes, or the larger planes, I should say. And just to let you know how easy this is, there used to be people that would sell these things for, you know, $20 and it literally takes about 30 minutes of careful work. And all you do is have a piece of scrap wood like this, card rail, <clears throat> and you run it right along. Use a test piece to make sure you're getting the center of your rail perfectly even. And then you have a nice, simple little, <clears throat> sorry, camera's pointing down, you have a nice, simple little rail that runs right through. Very easy to do and you don't have to go out and buy uh, expensive sliding canopy parts and then I typically use 256 ball links that will slide through the canopy rail. Okay, pretty easy. That's how every, uh, every one of my models have been done so far with the exception of the larger P40 that was done with a T-rail sliding through the channel. Okay, that's it for now.